So this video is about making konyaku. Konyaku is a kind of yam or vegetable grown in the ground for a long time and then dried for a few years and then boiled and mashed and made into this kind of jelly-like consistency. You see it in foods like oden, in barbecue, in soups, in lots of different dishes. It's a fairly long process to make konyaku. At first, you boil the yam and then you put it into a blender with a little bit of water and you wait until the blender shows that it's thickening by changing the sound. You can see how the consistency of the potato gets thicker and thicker the more that you mash it and move it around and bicarbonate of soda is also added as a thickening agent. It's a good activity for groups to try this kind of workshop because it takes a long time and it's actually a lot of work to mix it over and over again. So it's nice if you have different people who can take turns. <laughs> Here the instructor is showing us the firmness of the mixture and how to judge whether you're ready to go to the next step of adding a little bit more water mixed with soda bicarbonate and making it a little bit more of a jelly-like konyaku texture and the smell of konyaku, a finished konyaku, should also be coming out at this stage. At this stage, after adding the bicarbonate of soda mixture, she says it's important to mix quickly and strongly to make sure that it's mixed properly. If it becomes too grainy or dry, you should add more water. This is the next step. It becomes quite firm and she smooths it out inside the bowl before forming it into shapes. For forming the shapes, about a handful size and if you think it's too big you can shave off a bit on the outside. Try to smooth it into a nice round ball. Keep moving it, keep adding water to make this smooth effect. The instructor made it look very easy but it wasn't as easy to make it into such a smooth texture and to make all the shapes the same size. But she recommended trying to make it similar sizes to make it cook in the same amount of time. It was then boiled in plain boiling water. No salt or any spices or other ingredients were added to the boiling water. Okay, just absolutely plain water. The instructor advised to boil for at least 30 minutes for every kilogram of konyaku that you are making. The teacher advised that you need to let the konyaku cool after it's been boiling because it remains hot for a very long time. But it's really delicious to eat the konyaku in slices when it's a little bit warm. At this final stage, the konyaku is cut into thin slices to be eaten as konyaku sashimi or instead of a raw fish or an accompaniment for a raw fish.
The final step after it's cut is to add some water and roughly wash it under cold water. The taste of the konyaku surprised some of the people who took part in the workshop as they didn't expect it to taste any good. But with a little soy mayonnaise mixed with ponzu, everyone seemed to enjoy the flavor. Konyaku has become famous as a health food or diet food because it doesn't have any calories and adds a little nutrition to any dish. This was a really fun workshop activity. I would highly recommend it for groups or individuals wanting to try a bit of Japanese culture and food culture. It's not difficult, it's fun and it's tasty and it's a very unusual Japanese food many people don't often understand. Another good aspect of konyaku making is how sustainable it is. It comes from nature and goes back to nature without any ill effect on people or the environment. This workshop was held in the town of Yuki Onsen, about an hour outside of Hiroshima. Please feel free to get in touch for more information or bookings.